Anurag and welcome to this video. Today I am here to start a new tutorial series on AWS Glue based on your inputs. So we will start this tutorial series with an overview of AWS Glue. So let's get started. As a part of the overview, we will go through ETL at a high level, the difference between on-prem ETL and serverless ETL, what is Glue, components of AWS Glue, AWS Glue workflow and few other topics. So in a single line, AWS Glue is a fully managed serverless ETL service and ETL stands for Extract, Transform and Load. So let's understand the term at a high level. Extract. Extraction is the process of fetching data from different sources and loading that data into the staging area. Extraction happens first. Once the data is extracted, transformation takes place. Transform. Transformation is the process to perform different operations or apply functions to the extracted data like reformatting, mapping, data cleaning, and so on. The goal of transformation is to prepare the data in a form that can be consumed by other processes. Now, the transform data needs to be loaded or stored somewhere and that is where the loading takes place. Load. Load is the process of inserting the transform data into the target storage. For example, data warehouse or data store. When the extract, transform and load processes work together in the sequence to fetch, manipulate and store the data, it is called an ETL job. One can set up or manage the environment to run ETL jobs in-house or can leverage a fully managed serverless ETL service. Let's have a look at the difference between on-prem ETL and serverless ETL. With the in-house setup, beforehand investment is required for hardware and a dedicated team has to take care of the infrastructure, its maintenance, software updates, security patches, etc. Whereas with serverless ETL, the service provider takes care of the infrastructure. With on-prem, challenges like over or under allocation of resources can arise if proper planning or estimation is not done efficiently in the beginning, which might result in additional investment in hardware at later point of time and ideal resources respectively. Whereas with serverless ETL, you only pay for what you use. While working with in-house setup, one is aware of the underlying setup, but with the serverless ETL, one has a very little or no information about what is provisioned under the hood. Well, uh, these are the few high-level differences between on-prem and serverless ETL. Let's understand what is Glue. AWS Glue is a fully managed serverless ETL service which provides all the capabilities for data integration with visual and code-based interfaces. It has a central metadata repository known as AWS Glue Data Catalog where it stores all the metadata. AWS Glue has a Spark ETL engine that is serverless and a flexible scheduler. AWS Glue has different components and let's have a look at that. AWS Glue console, which is used to define and orchestrate your ETL workflow. AWS Glue data catalog is a persistent metadata store in AWS Cloud. AWS Glue crawlers and classifiers allow you to define crawlers that can scan data in different repositories to detect and infer schemas which is further stored in the AWS Glue data catalog. With AWS Glue ETL operations, AWS Glue can automatically generate Scala or PySpar scripts that you can use and modify to perform various ETL operations using the metadata in the AWS Glue data catalog. Streaming ETL in AWS Glue AWS Glue enables you to perform ETL operations on streaming data using continuously running jobs. It is built on the Apache Spark structured streaming engine. Then we have AWS Glue Jobs. AWS Glue Jobs system provides the managed infrastructure to orchestrate your ETL workflow, which can be scheduled or triggered based on the events. Now as a next step, let's see how these components work together. Over here, the data catalog sits in the center and all other components revolve around the data catalog. The first step is to define the crawler that will scan data and then it will detect and infer the schema to populate the data catalog. As a next step, create the ETL job which will use the data catalog to generate the ETL script which you can also modify as per the requirement. You can run the ETL job on demand or you can schedule it or define the trigger. Finally, the ETL job will run and it will extract the data from data source transform it and load it into the data target. And you can access, create, 
and monitor everything via AWS Management Console or via code-based interfaces. Here, the prerequisite to writing an ETL job is to populate the data catalog. So how does it work at the high level? So here, here the AWS Glue crawlers will connect to the data stores using the classifiers that will help to determine the schema of your data. And then it will create the metadata within AWS Glue data catalog. Here, the crawler will determine the schema of the tables but not the relationship among the tables. The crawler can be run on schedule or by a trigger based on event or on demand. Now let's have a look at the pros of the AWS Glue. It is serverless, hence no overhead of managing infrastructure. You pay as you go. Glue provides crawlers with automatic schema inference for semi-structured and structured datasets. It can detect and infer schema with little configuration and can also adapt to schema changes. Glue automatically generates the script that you need to extract, transform and load your data from source to target so you don't have to start from scratch. It also provides Visual Plus uh, code-based interfaces to make data integration easier. It also provides a unified view of data via AWS Data Catalog. And finally, it can dynamically scale the resources based on the workload. So it can scale up and scale down the resources depending on your workload. Now since we talked about the pros, let's have a look at cons. So AWS Glue is limited to Python and Scala programming languages. So if anyone wants to use AWS Glue should have a fair understanding and knowledge of Python and Scala. Also, ETL jobs needs modification when schemas are updated. AWS Glue is tightly coupled with the AWS ecosystem. That is also dependent on Apache Spark. And finally, we would have little or no information at all about what's going on under the hood. Now let's discuss about the pricing. In terms of pricing, you will be charged $0.44 per DPU hour for ETL jobs, development endpoints and crawlers. And one DPU has 4B CPU and 16 GB of memory. For data catalog storage, it's free for the first million objects and then it's $1 per 100,000 objects stored above 1 million per month. For data catalog request, it's free for the first a million request per month and then it's one dollar per million request above one million in a month so guys that was all and i hope you get a fair idea about aws glue you will know more when we go hands-on in the coming videos and last but not least if you want to download the slides which i have used in the video then the link is in the video description so guys that's all for this video until that time if you want me to do a tutorial on any use case or service then please leave them below and i will try my best to come up with the tutorial as soon as possible and if you have any queries or comments then again please leave them below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and see you next time